Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I'm going to be talking about all of the ebooks that I downloaded in April. I'm going to get started very quickly because there are many, 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 many books on this haul. Probably the most I've ever hauled in a month ever because many authors are putting their books out for free at the moment. I'm gonna get started because there are a gajillion billion on this list. So the first book on this list is The Start of Us by Lauren Blakely. This is the first book in the No Regrets series. I got this book for free. It is still currently free and apparently it is also on Audible Escape if you want to check it out. Let me tell you everything I know about love. Love is a lie, a game, a chase, but most of all it's a battle every man and woman must fight for themselves. I don't trust love for a second until I met Trey. He's just like me, dangerous, scarred, and keeping secrets that might be darker than mine. And I can't seem to stay away from him even though I've promised to. How can this be the start of something when tomorrow it has to come to an end? Next I have His Demands, The First Night by Elizabeth Nelson. This is the first book in a five book series um, and it is on Kindle Unlimited if you want to check it out. It was one man, one night, and nothing but sheer dominance. He was sexy, charming, and absolutely perfect. But when he takes me back to his place, I quickly fall into his bed. He was my one chance at unhibited passion. And not only did I let him have it, he gave it to me good. But when I discovered that billionaire Robin Beto was not only the man I slept with, but could also soon be my boss, both at work and inside the bedroom, I start to question the dark secrets that swirl around the man I crave. Even if I wanted to leave, his dominance is too much for me to walk away. Next I have Teach Me by Red Phoenix. This is the first book in Bray's submission series. And this is still currently free at the moment. What would you do if a mysterious man of your dreams hands you an invitation? For Bray, the choice is clear accept it. The invitation whisks Brie into a world of unimaginable pleasure at the world-renowned training center where they instruct their students the art of submission. Join Brie as she experiences the heights of pleasure and pushes herself to experience new things in weekly auctions under the demand of skilled masters. It's not long before Brie starts falling for some of her sexy and talented trainers, but as graduation day approaches, Brie knows she can only be collared by one. Next, I have Toxic Desire by Robin Lovett. I have actually read this book. It is in, I believe, my April wrap-up. I don't remember. It's in one of my wrap-ups, but this is an alien romance book. It is the first book in the Planets of Desire series, and it is $3.99 if you would like to purchase it. Nimona can't believe she's crash-landed on the planet Ferian with the brooding golden-skinned alien who destroyed her ship and scattered her crew. She should want to kill him, but everything on Ferian is an aphrodisiac, so she just wants to have him now. Revenge. That's all Commander Oten has wanted against humans for more than a century. Ever since they tried to destroy his kind, he never thought he'd end up in bed with one. But the desire of the planet stokes for his human female is eating him alive. Keeping his hands, his mouth, and his vampiric fangs to himself proves impossible, especially when she's begging him to touch her. Nimona has no idea what this will do to her, but Oten knows all too well. They need to get off this planet before their coupling stirs an alien mating bond that neither of their hearts can withstand. Next, I have Bloodlust by Zoe Winters. That's the first book in the pre- Ternaturals series. This is still currently free on Amazon and apparently it is also on Audible Escape. When Werecat Greta learns her tribe plans to sacrifice her on the next full moon, unleashing the potent magic of her blood, a dark sorcerer is the only one strong enough to protect her. Will Dane kill her as he has so many others of her kind? or is his grudge against her family strong enough to save her? Next is The Kiss of Death by Audrey Hadley. This is the first book in the Demon's Muse series and you could get this off of Kendall Unlimited. I always imagined Death's final kiss would be cold. It wasn't. Four years later, I can still remember the exact shade of his skin, a blue so pale it looked like moonlight. I dream of his touch. Mostly, I paint the man under the heavy coal, including those perfect lips, which ruined mine for anyone else. I am obsessed with him. The doctors say he's nothing more than a hallucination caused by a mixture of head trauma and emergency pain medications. I think he's a real sexy figment of my imagination. I mean, who besides an artist would dream up the grim raper for their hero. Now something's changed and my drawings are taking on a life of their own. As if college wasn't hard enough, trying to keep this a secret is going to be impossible. Keeping my sanity might be worse and that's not the worst of my problems. Death is back. He wants another kiss and he's not alone. Next I have Royally Charmed, a royal bad boy shifter romance by Leah Jade. This is on Kindle Unlimited. Caleb, I've been accused of murder. One, I didn't commit. And now the alluring human, which, investigating the crime, has my lion dying to claim her. The one female who is off limits to me. I'm alpha of the pride, heir to the lion throne. I can have any lioness for my queen. 
so why am I so hungry for a taste of the forbidden priestess? That she challenges me only makes me want her more, but now she's missing, another witch taken by the murderer. I will do everything in my power to find her and protect her from him. She's mine now. Line shifters are the worst. They act like women are possessions to be captured, broken, and bred. The only reason I allowed him close was a case of mistaken identity. I thought he was a friend, but find out he's the enemy. A royal shifter, heir to the throne, has been lying to me this entire time. But I wasn't expecting my body to recognize him, and I want him this badly. His only crime? Destroying my walls and stealing my heart. And now the real killer is after me. He mutilated those witches, and he's now coming for me too. I must escape and discover, once and for all, the secrets of my past before it's too late. Next I have Irresistible by Melanie Harlow. This is the first book in the Cloverly Farms series. I'm a full-time single dad to three daughters and a CFO at Cloverly Farms. I don't have time to fall in love. I'm too busy trying to run a business, keep the red socks out of the white laundry, and get the damn pillowcases on without owing a dollar to the swear jar. Sure, Frankie Sawyer is beautiful and sweet, but she's 27, the boss's daughter, and my new part-time nanny, which means she's completely off limits. It's bad enough I can't stop fantasizing about her. What kind of jerk would I be if I acted on the impulse to kiss her? Exactly the jerk you're thinking. Actually, I'm worse than that because I don't stop with a kiss and now I can't stay away. She makes me feel like myself again. She reminds me what it's like to want something just for me. She's everything I ever needed, but nothing I ever imagined. I'm a former Marine. I should have had the strength to resist her from the start, but I didn't. And now I have to choose between the life I want and the life she deserves, even if it means giving her up. Next, I have Touching Sin, the first book in the Las Vegas Sins series by Jay Saman. This is available on Kindle Unlimited. I know she's lying the moment I see her, that her name is as fake as her story. I found her broken down on the road to nowhere, lost, homeless, scared out of her mind. When our eyes meet, I know I'm in trouble. She's put my entire world at risk, my reputation, my business, my livelihood. She's the last thing I need and everything I can't resist because Mia brought me back to life and I will do everything to save hers. Next, I have Birthday Cake by M. Malone. This is the first book in the Alexander's series and it is still currently free. Oh my gosh, the paperback version of this is $200? What? <laughs> Take my best friend's sister out for her birthday. How hard can that be? My best friend is deployed and he worries about his little sister being alone. But I don't mind taking her out for her birthday. I just have to remember one thing. One, keep my hands off her ridiculously curvy body. There's just one problem. Mara has her own ideas of what we should do. And it turns out she wants to taste a hell of a lot more than just birthday cake. Next, I have Dirty Talk by Tar Crescent. This is available on Kindle Unlimited. James Fowler and Lucas Bennett are the sexiest guys in a new summit. Vloggers, celebrities, and hosts of the hottest, steamiest show on the internet. Dirty talk. I may be a teeny bit attracted to them. Oh, who am I kidding? I can't get enough of them. There are two huge temptations I can't resist. Two huge, massive temptations. And they're in my coffee shop every day, enticing me, calling to me, whispering that a little sin won't matter. But I can't let myself give in. As much as I want to say yes, I have to say no. Because I'm at the brink of getting everything I ever wanted, and James and Lucas are just a distraction right? Next I have The Red Zone by Amy Knight and this is available on Kindle Unlimited. They say The Red Zone is the hardest place to score but for me those last 20 yards are my sweet spot. They didn't call me Lucas last minute Lucy Callahan for nothing. I was at the top of my game until my life sacked me harder than any linebacker ever could. Losing my mom was devastating and left me as the sole person responsible for my little sister. Taking care of Ella and juggling my career was like playing the hardest game of my life. The only saving grace was Scarlett Knox, Ella's sexy redheaded no-nonsense teacher. She loved Ella. She hated me. She thought I sucked at this parenting thing and she wasn't wrong. But whenever she was around, I got the same earth shattering, heart stopping feeling I did when I was around 20 yards from the goal line. She made me feel like I was back in the red zone, a place I never fumbled until now. Next I have Theirs for the Night by Katie Robert. This is still currently free on Amazon if you want to check it out. Anything goes when it's just for one night. Meg Sanders has spent her life playing by the rules until tonight. It's her birthday and she's determined to be a little wild and a whole lot carefree, at least until she has to get back to reality tomorrow. But the last thing she expects is to be seduced by two gorgeous men on the dance floor. Theo and Galen are each incredibly sexy on their own and potentially devastatingly as a pair, and they want her. Meg isn't down for anything resembling complicated when her life is such a mess, but the pair win her over with the promise of a night out of her deepest darkest fantasy and that they walk the next morning with no strings attached one night is all they promise but will it be enough next i have the forbidden passion of a governess a historical regency romance 
by Lucy Langton. This is on Kindle Unlimited if you want to check it out. When Amelia Stewart is relieved of her post as a governess in the Hutchinson family, she finds herself accepting a new position. Upon entering Glastonbrook, though, she instantly becomes aware that the mansion is gloomy and neglected due to an unsolved murder that took place within the walls. Adding to her troubles, she can't deny her immediate attraction towards the dark and mysterious current Earl of Cunningham. When her secret passion is reciprocated, will she surrender to it? Or is the lore of a forbidden romance enough for a chance of true love? Joshua Forrest lost his parents under mysterious circumstances at a young age. Ever since, he has been the sole guardian of the Cunningham name and his younger sister as well. When he hires a governess to teach his sister before entering society, he does not expect a ravishing beauty to show up at his door. Their tension-filled encounters make his yearning stronger and stronger, but he cannot succumb to the temptation. Will he let the captivating governess in and allow her to help him escape? the ghosts of his past. They may come from different classes, but neither can deny their immediate attraction between them. For a chance of a future together, they need to work alongside to let go of their past and solve the mystery surrounding the mansion. Until then, can they resist the temptation or is their connection too strong to control? Next, I have Match Fit by Emily S. Duncan. This is currently available for 99 cents. Dylan is scorching hot and he knows it. With a mouth as filthy as his reputation, linking myself to him could ruin my public image. But show business is about risk and as a down on my luck actress this could only break my career needs. Dylan. Rook is my most difficult opponent yet. Being seen with a good girl like her may give me a chance at Hollywood stardom but I never expected to crave this feisty redhead. I can't lose my focus. I always keep my eye on the ball. I'm always match fit and winning her is the most important game I've ever played. Next I have Hired for Heat by Leanne Ryans, the first book in the Hired series. This is available on Kindle Unlimited. As an Omega, your choices are to suffer through your heat alone or hire an alpha stud to tend you through it. Safeguards are in place to prevent pregnancy and bonding when an alpha is hired for heat. But what happens if one of those fail? Next I have Payback by Kristen Hart and this is still currently free on Amazon. As a former Green Beret, I know how to follow orders and obey rules. I've learned to be patient, to look at a situation from every angle, and to live by a code of honor most men know nothing about. But when a motorcycle club puts a target on not just my hometown, but the five foot nothing blonde who unknowingly holds my heart in her hands, obeying the law takes a back seat to keep my woman safe. I've never had something so precious to protect and I've never been willing to cross so many lines to get the job done. My need to destroy those who threaten shy could cost me my home, my freedom, and my life, but I'd sacrifice it all to save her. Next, I have Drake and Fire, Exile to the Prison Planet, a sci-fi menage romance by Lily Zander and Lee Savino. This is available on Kindle Unlimited. When I wake from my coma, the first thing I see are two hot aliens and I'm informed they are my mates. I don't think so. This isn't the story of Sleeping Beauty and the two sexy possessive dragons aren't my fairy tale princes. I'm certainly not going to wake up, kiss them, and live happily ever after on this stupid prison planet where everything's out to kill me. Not happening. Not even if they heal me from my injuries and nurse me back to health. Not even if they protect me, care for me, and keep me safe. Not even if their abs could grace the cover of every men's fitness magazine back home. Sleeping Beauty isn't going to kiss her dragons. She's going to find a way back home. Next we have Legend by M. R. Leahy. This is a part of the Sinister Fairy Tales collection and this is available on Kindle Unlimited. Far, far away, hidden on Insula Sacra, Island of the Accursed, lives a forgotten world of man and beast. Damned by the gods and forced to live in everlasting darkness, they continue to fight a war that has long since been buried in time. With each rise and fall of the cursed moon, they are reminded of what they lost. Desperate for freedom, they await the night the one true king will rise to power and free them from the curse. The king, however, cannot rise without his queen. Both blessed by the mark of the gods, they must end the war to save them all. Or so legend says. Next, I have The Midwinter Mail Order Bride, a fantasy romance by Katie Wilde. This is available on Kindle Unlimited. Some might call me Princess Anya of Evermore, brave for offering herself up as a bride to Kale the Conqueror, a barbarian warlord who'd won his crown by the bloodied edge of a sword. It was not courage that drove Anya from her magic-wielding family's enchanted palace, however, but a desperate attempt to secure a freedom, to secure a kingdom of her own, even if she has to kill the conqueror to do it. She expects pain beneath his brutal touch as she awaits her chance. She expects death if he discovers the truth of her intentions. She didn't expect Kale to reject her and send her back to Ivermore. Raised in the ashes of the dead lands, Kale fears nothing, certainly not for the beautiful sorceress who arrives at his mountain stronghold. But no matter how painful his need for her, 
Kale has no use for a bride who would only tolerate his kiss. Yet the more of Anya's secrets he uncovers during the journey to return to her home, the more determined he becomes to win the princess's weary heart. And Kale the Conqueror has never been defeated. Next, I have His Human Slave, an alien warrior romance by Renee Rose. This is the first book in the Zadian Masters series, and this is available on Kindle Unlimited. Like all humans, she was born into galactic slavery. I bought and paid for her, which means she's mine now, mine to use. But according to our gene matching program, she'll produce the best offspring, and our species is nearly extinct. In the meantime, I must teach her to yield to my will, accept my discipline, and serve me as her one true master. Next, I have Secrets Web of Sin 1 by Ilthiromig, and this is still currently free, and it is available on Audible Escape as well. I'm Sterling Sparrow. You've no doubt heard my name or read it on the top of tall buildings. There's more to my business, my realm, than what is seen above ground. Within the underbelly of one of America's largest cities lives a world where a man's word is either his most valuable tool or his most respected weapon. When my father ruled that world, and that city, he promised me someone who would one day make my reign complete. Since that day, long ago, Ariane, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that, McCray has been mine. She just didn't know. My father is now gone. The city and the underbelly are now mine. The time has come for me to collect who was promised to me, to shred her life of secrets and make her who she's always been mine. Next, I have A Worthy Opponent by Katie Robert. I read this in April and loved it. It is in my April wrap-up if you want to know my personal thoughts on it. You can purchase it currently for $4.99. Once upon a time, I was a girl who believed in love and happily ever afters. Now, the only thing I believe in is revenge. Unfortunately for me, there's only one man willing to help me, Hook. I would have known it wouldn't be out of the goodness of his heart. He doesn't have one. No, Hook wants his ring on my finger and me on my knees before him, and he won't take no for an answer. I'm willing to pay any price in order to bring our mutual enemy down, even if it means I lose my soul in the bargain. Oh my word, he's crying to get out of my room. Next, I have The Beast by Katie Robert, which is the next book in the Wicked Villain series, and this is on sale for $4.99. Once upon a time, I fell in love with two men. Their feelings for me were matched only by their hatred for each other. He's howling now. Ollie! Gaten, with his brash charm and casual cruelty. Beast, his lust equal to his penchant for violence. Being with them was sinful and perfect in different ways. In the end, I couldn't choose and lost them both. Now my sisters have tasked me with securing our power base, no matter the cost. I will do anything for my family, even if it means agreeing to the terms set by Gaten and Beast, the three of us together, but only for as long as it takes for me to choose one of them once and for all. With games of power, happily ever after isn't our priority, not even for me, especially not for me. Next I have Given to the Mob, an obsessed alpha male romance, the first book in the Rossi Brothers series by Autumn Rain. This is still currently free on Amazon. Marco. I grinned at the old fool. I could get any woman I wanted, so why the hell would I need one to be given to me? She could always go to the club. I'm sure they'd be happy with a fresh face. I reached down and snatched up the wallet, curious as to what the spawn of Marty would look like. Emily. My heart thudded in my chest. Marco Rossi has been at my job and damn, he was gorgeous. Thick wavy black hair, dark menacing gray eyes, and a muscled body that was neatly packaged up in a tailored maid suit. Next, I have The Warlord Once Forever, the first book in the Immortals After Dark series by Cressley Cole. You can purchase this book currently for $2.99. The Warlord. Nikolai Roth, a ruthless vampire general, will stop at nothing to find his bride, the one woman who can blood him, making his heart beat and filling him with strength. Coldly interested only in the power his bride will bring, he can hardly believe when the mist of coveted awakens his body and soul. The Seductress. Framed throughout the world as the beautiful valley Valkyrie, Mist has devoted her life to protecting a magical jewel and to fighting the vampires. Roth provides her with the perfect opportunity to torment her sworn enemy, for with his new heartbeat comes a consuming sexual desire that can only be staked by her. Denying him, she flees, struggling to forget his searing possessive kiss. The hunt is on. She eludes him for five years but he has finally chased her to the ground and stolen her enchanted jewel, giving him absolute power over her. Now that she's his for the taking, he intends to make her experience firsthand the agonizing, upending lust she's subjected him to for half a decade. Yet when Nikolai realizes he wants far more than vengeance from Mist and frees her, will she come back to him? Next we have Your Dad Will Do by Katie Robert, the first book in a Touch of Taboo series. You can purchase this book currently for $3.99. I've been holding a dark secret for two long years. I've been fantasizing about my fiance's father, thinking filthy thoughts that a 
that a good daughter-in-law should not be indulging in. So when I catch my fiance cheating on me, there's only one revenge that will fulfill all my needs. I'm going to seduce his father. It's dirty, it's wrong, and I don't care. I want him, so I mean to have him. After this weekend, my ex won't be the only one who calls his father daddy. Next I have Downfall and Enemies to Lovers Romance and this is the first book in Kingdoms of Sin series by Willow Astor. This is currently available on Kindle Unlimited. I was naive to think my marriage to Luca Canto might work. I was infatuated from him from afar until I met him. He loved the challenge of his next conquest. Anyone would do except me. A wife was never something he wanted. Torturous was not a strong enough word to describe how I felt when I was in a room with Luca. Besides hating nearly every word that came out of his mouth, I also drowned with lust every time I looked at him. At times I thought he might feel the same, but nothing prepared me for what his family would make me become. Next I have Baby Mine by Kennedy Fox. This is the first book in the Hunter and Lennon duet. This is still currently free on Amazon. I saw her first, blonde, gorgeous, feisty. I was smitten, but it didn't matter because she chose him and he was my best friend and roommate. I'd never be able to compete with that, so I pushed her away instead. It was easy when she lived hours away and I didn't have to see her every day, but then she moved in with us. Now I'm screwed. To her singing in the shower every morning, dancing in the kitchen while she makes coffee and doing yoga in our living room, I can't stop thinking about her in all the wrong ways. She's not mine and never will be. That does not stop me from wanting to push her against the wall and claim her mouth. She's constantly on me for making messes, bringing chicks home every weekend, and being a smart ass when their PDA gets on my nerves. Considering neither of them know how I feel, it's not fair for the way I act towards them. I should move out so I can get over her for good. However, the selfish part of me can't let go. Then the unthinkable happens. When my best friend dies in a motorcycle accident, the two of us are left to grieve our loss together. Instead of pushing her away, I pull her closer. Just as we come to terms with a new reality, she finds out she's pregnant with his baby and I'm left to make the hardest decision of my life. Next, I have The Royal Companion, an epic love story, the first part of the Companion series by Tanya Bird. This is still currently free on Amazon. Companions are the kingdom's most beautiful and educated women, possessions of Saracen's royal men. Aldara is 16 when she is sold to the obnoxious crown prince as a gift for his brother. Forced to lead the only life she's ever known, Aldara is sent to the Arkdale Castle, where she is mentored to become Prince Tyron's perfect companion, but no amount of lessons can prepare her for the troubled men marked by war. He sees straight through the polished exterior presented to him. He sees her. She must keep the facade together or deal with the repercussions. Prince Tyron has just returned from war. All he wants is privacy to grieve the men who, who died at the border. So when his brother gifts him with a companion upon his return, he is forced to embrace a tradition he has so far managed to avoid, except Aldara is not like the others. She walks with her face to the sun and arms swinging. But but if they ignore the rules that safeguard them, there will be consequences. Next, I have Dirty Shame, a bad boy romance, the first book in the Bluefield Bad Boys series by Tess Oliver. This is available on Kindle Unlimited. A coal miner's son, Kellen Braddock, always knew he'd follow in his late dad's steel-toed boots. He also always knew that he'd never love anyone as much as he loved Rylan Merritt, but sometimes love isn't enough. Seven years ago, Rylan Merritt left Bluefield Ridge with her heart in tatters. Now she's back and Kellen Braddock, the boy from the wrong side of the tracks, the boy who she loved beyond anything, has grown into a man. Will she risk her heart again? Next I have Lost by Jodi Kay. This is the first book in the Saved by Love series and this is still currently free. The last thing Derek expected to find on the dirt road to his cabin is an unconscious, beaten and bloody woman. Trying to save her life and help her regain her memory takes him on a different life course than expected. Next I have Claiming His Fate, Feral Breeds Motorcycle Club series book one by Ellis Lee. This is still currently free on Amazon. A shifter battling his wolf instincts, a woman living a life of obligation and lies, a moment of fate interrupted by danger. Rebel Lynch has spent 200 years searching for balance between his human side and his inner wolf. As a den president of the feral breed motorcycle club, a lack of control over the beast within isn't just a pain in the ass, it's a death sentence. One served by his club brothers, the judges, jury, and executioners, <laughs> of the wolf shifting community. At Amnesia Gentlemen's Club, customers and staff check their real world identities at the door. Charlotte, one of the club's best waitresses, itched her legit career because she needs the kind of income those pesky IRS folks can't track. When the small mouthed bombshell pulls a gig serving a private party, she expects nothing more than a few extra tips. That is until dirty talking rebel Lynch strolls into the room looking like sin incarnate, flashing motorcycle club colors and blasting Charlotte's expectations 
about work, life, and love straight to hell. One glance at Charlotte and Rebel knows she's his fated mate. But a wolf shifter is attacking women at the club, threatening Charlotte's life and putting the entire shifter community at risk of exposure. Rebel and his feral breed MC brothers must find the crazed shifter before he strikes again. If Rebel can uncover the new monster in their midst, learn to reign in the protective instincts of his fully mated alpha, his future with Charlotte, Will be dead on rival. Next I have The Alpha's Concubine and this is a romantic shifter for you to see in the first book in the Moon People series by Claudia King. This is still currently free on Amazon. Taken from her people, claimed by an alpha, forced into a new life. In a time before tools of metal and houses of wood, tooth and claw ruled the wild places of the world. The Moon People have been enemies to Natea's kind for as long as the stars can remember. They are monsters, demons, men and women who take the shapes of beasts, the murderers of her father. An outsider taken as a prize by the pack, Natea must overcome suspicion, rivalry, and the division of her own heart as she grows to realize that monsters wear many different faces. Among the moon people, she uncovers the potential of a life she never knew existed, the chance for a woman to become something more than a prize, or a mother, or a concubine. But as the Alpha and others vie for her heart, the powerful huntress Vaya seeks to purge Natea from her pack. Before Natya can decide where she belongs, she must endure the trials of love, hatred, and heartbreak. The girl taken as a trophy must become a woman. So there you have it. Those are the many, many, many books that I downloaded in the month of April. <laughs> Let me know if you plan to read any of these books or if you already have read any of these books. I would love to know. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye! Mm -hmm.